but I can't say the word faggot. And she said, because, David, you are not gay. I said, well, Renee, I'm not a nigger either. But you see, what I didn't realize at the time and what Kevin had to learn the hard way is we were breaking an unwritten and unspoken rule of show business. And if I say it, you'll know that I'm telling you the truth. The rule is that no matter what you do in your artistic expression, you are never, ever allowed to upset the alphabet people. You know who I mean. Those people that took 20% of the alphabet for themselves. <laughs> I'd say the letters, but I don't want to conjure their anger. Ah, it's too late now. I'm talking about them L's and them B's and them G's and the T's. People be surprised. I have friends all kinds of letters. Everybody loves me and I love everybody. I got friends who are L's, I got friends who are B's, and I got friends who are G's. But the T's hate my fucking guts. <laughs> and I don't blame them. It's not their fault, it's mine. I can't stop telling jokes about these things. I don't want to write these jokes, but I just can't stop. You know, you hear all those letters together all the time, L-B-G-T, L-B-G-T, and you think it's just one big movement. It's not. All those letters are their own movement. They just travel in the same car together. <laughs> and my guess is... What is this, high school? This nigga probably got a babysitter or something. Go on and answer your phone, nigga. Just Get that shit out of here. I'm, I'm in the middle of something important. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if we made fun of him? He's like, ah, and he went outside like, hello? Mama's dead. Oh, no! <laughs> Mama's dead. Ah! That was a weird time phone call, wasn't it? It's like his phone is gay. <laughs> like I was saying, my guess is the G's are driving that car. That makes sense to me, because there's white men in the G's. And these people are trying to get around uh, discrimination and oppression. And you know how white dudes are. We know these roads. <laughs> in fact, we built these roads. <laughs> the rest of you buckle up. We'll get you to where you want to go. <laughs> so the G's are just driving the car. Of course, next to the G's in the passenger seat is the L's. Everybody likes the L's, except for the G's. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. I just know the G's don't like them that much. And the G's always say like little subliminal digs on them. It's unnecessary shit. It's not mean, but you know what I mean? They just be like, oh, I wouldn't wear that. <laughs> the only thing that breaks the tension between the L's and the G's are the B's in the back seat. That's right, there you go. Everybody scream out when you hear your letter. <laughs> if it's one thing that the L's and the G's agree on, is that the B's are fucking gross. <laughs> they seem greedy to the L's and the G's, you know what I mean? He's just sitting in the back seat like, yeah, man, I'll fuck anybody in this car. What's going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> so 
and sitting next to the bees all the way in the back seat by themselves looking out the window. <laughs> That's the tease. <laughs> Everybody in the car respects the tease, but everyone also resents the tease. It's not the tease fault, but everyone in the car just feels like the tease are making the trip take longer. <laughs> Anything the T's say gets on everybody's nerves. And then the T's don't even say anything bad. They should be in the back talking to themselves. Hmm, I'm hot. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck up, okay? Just roll the window down, you bitch. I don't know what you. <sighs> what? Just said I was hot. <laughs> Could you pull over at the next exit? I need to use the restroom. There is not a restroom for you for four states, nigga. Will you just <laughs> shut the fuck up so we can get where we're going? <laughs> and just when that car can't get any more tense, the cues are a hitchhiker that they pick up on the road. Some white dude in booty shorts is walking down the freeway. Jesus see him. Mm, that guy might be one of us. <laughs> hey, are you okay? You need some help? And he come over there with them booty shorts leaning on the window. <laughs> hey, what's going on, fellas? <laughs> Lady? Whatever pronoun makes you feel comfortable in the back. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know where I'm going. I don't know if I'm gay or I'm straight or whatever. All I know for sure is that um, I really want to get in this car. <laughs> and they make him get in and sit in between the B's and the T's. I feel bad for T's, but they're so confusing. And it's not all my fault. I feel like they need to take some responsibility for my jokes. Because I didn't come up with this idea on my own. This idea that a person can be born in the wrong body. But they have to admit, that's a fucking hilarious predicament. It's really fucking funny. And if it happened to me, you'd laugh, wouldn't you? That wouldn't be funny if it happened to me? I think it would be. What if, what if it did? What if, what, if I was, what if I was Chinese? But, but born in this nigga body, that's not funny. <laughs>